Hey guys, Freddy here. I feel like wiring is one of those things that a lot of us struggle with in the automotive community. I know I've struggled with it for a while, so today I'm going to show you guys how you can step up your wiring game with these Deutsch connectors and crimper kit that I'm going to show you in this video. Now these connectors are often used in high performance applications because they are super durable and reliable and they're also very easy to work with and even deep in. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own Deutsch connector using this crimping tool kit that I got from iWIS. It comes with an open barrel crimping tool and two closed barrel crimping tools and also the proper deep pinning tools for Deutsch connectors and also a little handy screwdriver. I'm sure most of you are familiar with this style of crimper. This is for open barrel crimp connections. Very common in a lot of connectors but the real rock star of this kit are the two closed barrel crimping tools. These things are super cool. It comes with two different closed barrel crimping tools because they are for different sizes and today we're going to be using the 14 to 18 gauge crimping tool. It also has this adjuster on the side which allows you to adjust the amount of crimp that you apply to the connector. The kit also comes with this double ended screwdriver which aids in deep pinning the connectors. These things are surprisingly easy to deep pin. Alright, making these Deutsch connectors is stupid easy. Once you do it, you're not going to want to go back to any other style connector. All you got to do is strip the wires and then grab either the male or female crimp. We're gonna start off with the female crimp, slide it onto the wire, and you can see how much you need to actually strip. There's a little gauge right there on the connector. Then just stick it into the crimping tool, stick the wire in, and crimp it. There is absolutely no fighting with this. It is so much easier than doing open barrel crimps. And look at that beautiful crimp. The tool crimps it all the way around, makes a very strong connection, super quick easy and strong just do this to the other one and we can put them into the receptacle seriously it is so quick and easy to do these crimps i don't ever want to do open barrel crimps again pretty much rinse and repeat for the female pins just strip the wires back put the crimp into the tool and crimp down on the wire it really doesn't get any simpler than this the male pins go in this larger receptacle side of the connector. Simply slide the pins through the orange grommet and they click in. There is no clocking these in a certain way. It does not matter their orientation. They simply slide in and click into place. It is seriously so much easier than other style connections. And then you can secure the pins with the green wedge lock. The little screwdriver that comes in the kit will definitely help out with this. The female style crimps are going to go on the other side of the connector, this is called the plug, and they just simply slide through the grommets just like the other pins and click into place. They do not need to be rotated a certain way, it is super, super easy. And then you lock those in place with the orange wedge lock. Connect the two together and your Deutsch connector is done. Super easy, super durable, water resistant, very, very nice and strong connection. And now I'll show you how easy they are to depin. The one end of the screwdriver that comes with the kit simply pops out the orange wedge lock and you can also use it to pull out the green wedge lock. Very easy to remove. Then grab the proper deep pinning tool from the kit and you know if it's the right one if your Deutsch connectors fit perfectly inside the barrel of the tool. If it's too big or too small you have the wrong one but this one fits perfect. To deep pin the connector, pull back the rubber grommet, then put the deep pinning tool inside the connector with the open part of the barrel facing inwards towards the connector. Very simple to do, and on the other side, face the open end of the tool towards the inside of the connector and simply pull it out. Doesn't get any simpler than that. And now your pins are safely removed. All right, guys, there you go. That's how you can make your own Deutsch connectors at home. The right tools make a world of difference and make these so easy to make and also to deep in. I will link to the tools and also the connectors in the description down below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.